Well, now that crabbing is over, my 2023 season is in the books. Everybody always asks, what do you do after crabbing season? What I'm doing right now is going camp. Well, that's the idea. Actually, first, what I have to do is uh, get the camper in the truck and then get the truck to the marina and then get the camper out of the truck and then fix the camper because it's broken. It's also from like the 80s. The other thing I have to do is evict the bees. I've been spraying them, but um, I'm not sure it's helping. And I, I'm not really trying to get stung today. This is not great. This is how you get the camper in and out of the truck. Uh, so this is like the main support. And this thing is so old. It's just been sat around for so long that, oh my God, it's full of wee bees. Oh God, everything's full of bees. And so it turns out there's bees living under it and there's wasps living in the water heater. Just sprayed them, but I ran out. And then I ran out like a little girl because I'm not trying to get stung by two different kinds of bees. Getting the truck camper into the truck is definitely the hardest part. Uh, actually getting it out is also the other hardest part. The reason I'm using my Toyota Tundra that is not near rated for what this camper weighs is because it sits the lowest to the ground. I'm getting this camper really, really high to get it into the back of like a full-size pickup, like my F-250, there's always a possibility it's just gonna fall over on the ground. For now, it's only gotta go up the street, so to put it in this truck. You can see this is not exactly uh, level. Just trying to get it up and into the truck is, is kind of a massive pain. I do not recommend Going under it, well, it's suspended because they are so sketchy. So, uh, I'm gonna put these straps across the bed and then put the camper on top to see if when I get there, I can lift the camper out with a gantry. It's not how you're supposed to do it, but in order to work on some of the parts I wanna work on, it w might be easier if I could just hook a gantry to it and pick it up. No idea if it's gonna work. It might crush the entire camper in half. I have no clue, but we're gonna find out. All right, super sketchy. Uh, now he's gotta lower it down. Hope that doesn't fall out. <laughs> Crush the suspension. I thought I had an impact, but um, I don't. So you gotta use uh, this thing to undo these. Gotta check for bees. This is the moment of truth. We're gonna pull it forward and see if the camper stays on the truck. Oh, that's a win, dude. Look at that. It stayed in the truck. Do me a favor, and if you see this beautiful thing rolling down the road, just mind your business. Don't call the cops. All right, first order of business is to uh, fix this. See how that's bent and this is crushed like an inch up into the camper? This has to come off and I gotta weld it, bend it back into shape, maybe weld a gusset in it, but I'm gonna have to take out the water heater, which I probably will just not put back in because it doesn't work. Ooh. Failed to realize this was attached. Oh, we don't need this anymore, I guess. On further inspection, it's not as bad as I thought but it's definitely been repaired before. This is just like a big plate that's welded on. Somebody has been in here, probably not for like a couple decades. Oh no. Hmm. Well, this is somebody else's handiwork. Although it is admirable, made out of scrap metal. I like it. I did tear the side up a little bit, goodness. It's like every one thing I try to get in here and fix, I break two more things. This is nice. This is uh in pretty good shape. Somebody was in here and lucified this whole thing, so now I have to find some garbage, do it again. What's going on in here? <laughs> <laughs> Just fixing our camper. Looks pretty good. Yep. We got this all buttoned back up. Looks pretty good, because you can't see it from my house. We have a propane line. Can't find a plug, so we got like 18 fittings that we're just gonna pipe dope up. For those of you that think that this is not a legitimate plug, a real plug only has one seal. This has one two, three, four seals. So it's four times better. We have to address the, oh, I'm falling, the fact that this is missing. It's supposed to look like this. Got these little wings for speed and aerodynamicy. And uh, I actually ripped it off on this side. I hit all my crab pot trailer and it ripped right off. So now I have to fix it. It actually doesn't seem like that big a deal, but it's kind of a mess. So here is the piece it goes on like this but it's hollow now. So I need to cut some pieces of plywood out of this piece of an old boat deck, fill that, stick it back up in there. This is actually 10 times sturdier than factory. We got the boat deck in here, bent this over, pin some screws in here. This is a piece of scrap metal. This is actually an extra piece off of a Mr. Trash Wheel machine. Plywood piece here, this goes up into there, drill a bunch of holes in this, boom. 
bracket and we'll lag it in with whatever we can find better than factory anybody's ever had one of these truck bed campers they're built like total crap and they're held together with staples i butchered the crap out of that that's for sure it's one of these things where you know it's got to look worse before it looks better i was gonna try to reuse the aluminum but i cut a bunch of holes in it by accident and kind of butchered it so i found this piece of uh, fiberglass plywood that's actually the side of a u-haul truck put this here trace it cut it out i'm gonna use some of that um galvanized steel over there make a plate put that down and i'm gonna put that steel plate on top and then bolt it and try to figure out some way to stick this whole terrible situation back together and make it look not terribly trashy all right now that we have um you know our piece of the u-haul truck into the camper i'm gonna cut this off cut a piece here uh, fasten this cut some plates ow shoot that hurt glue it screw it bolt these in should be good to go use fiberglass epoxy to stick all of the box truck pieces together here because uh we're at a marina it's an ingenuity i'm a boat guy so that's what i know how to use all right so we got a two by four out of the woods uh, attached to our piece of box truck with some bed frame welded together all right so i got this side piece on and we had to use a bar clamp to squeeze all these pieces together. But before I fasten this, I gotta fix the floor because the floor is falling apart. I don't know who thought it was a good idea to use OSB board on the floor, but never fear, we have a solution. This is an old deck board. I'm gonna try to cut a rabbit joint in here to join it to the OSB and rebuild this part because this looks pretty good. All right, new plan. I'm not gonna do the whole rabbit joint thing because the width widths aren't gonna line up really well. It's just gonna be more work, which is really something I'm into, but I'm just gonna use another piece of this box truck side, this plunge cutter, cut out the plywood, put this in, cut a separate piece for that like the other side, and then have little tabs that hold it all together. And hopes and dreams. We got this all cut out. Uh, I did unfortunately manage to cut through this beautiful linoleum tile, but we're gonna make that up just by uh, building a bigger threshold that's gonna become structural. We have this piece of the box truck up in the bottom. We got a deck board to bridge the seam here and we are going to put an aluminum threshold down over here to cover up where i cut through the floor and we're going to run some big bolts through it to be stronger than new which really wouldn't take much the siding is actually structural all right she's in don't mind any of that i'm sure by uh, this point in the video there's some people getting ready to make some angry comments or throwing me some shade, but doing better work or buying another camper. But it's been an expensive year for me, man. I got married, bought a house, and I still wanna go camping with my friends. And I wanna take this thing, do some fishing and hunting and stuff over the winter. I'm not that worried about luxury and I just don't have the money right now. Well, it just wouldn't be a wise way to spend my money right now is what I should say, to buy another camper which is a bummer because right before I started this project, I found the absolute perfect camper, the one I've been looking for. It was like a Lance Squire with electric jacks, which is really something I would like. Man, it was cheap. It was a great deal. It was 3,500 bucks. So anything you do buy, you're gonna have to do something to. So it's not just quite 3,500 bucks. So I would have been better off in the long run just getting the other camper that was in a lot better shape. I've been thinking about it constantly every time I have to do something to this one. Too late now. So now you gotta fix the one you got. This camper is gonna be the envy of the entire trailer park, I promise. Well, it's fixed fixed enough. The back end here officially fixed. I have quite a few more projects left on this thing. I need to wrap up that other corner over there with a panel and I need to fix all four jacks. Luckily not the jack points. Oh, I need to fix the roof. There's a part in the roof that needs sealed and a little vent thing up here. Oh, and then I need to build a mounts to hold it in the truck because I don't want to pay a thousand dollars for mounts. I'm pretty sure I can build some. I don't need to buy them. Since I took the water heater out because the tank needs welded up, I just have a panel over here because there was a big hole right here. Found this in my buddy Jay Fleming's garage. I hate that it kind of looks a little Boy Scouty, but we'll cover the hole up for now. The thing is, when this camper came out in like the 80s, trucks just did not sit as high as they do now. So in order to get this into a modern-ish pickup truck, I need to make drop plates for the jack stands because you can crank these jack stands all the way up and sometimes you can just barely, barely get it into a truck but it's so sketchy with these things all the way extended. Consult the junk pile to try to find scrap metal to build things here. So why we don't throw anything away. Got plate here. 
Gonna bolt up, bolt the jack about 10 inches lower. That'll let us raise the camper 10 inches higher than before. Got some of this square tube cut out. Weld that onto the back of this plate. And these will still be removable. And then to stabilize this, we put a U-bolt right here. Cause these things get a little squirrely. We got one that's a template. I'm gonna put a T on that. So now when I screw this one up, I'll ensure that all four are also wrong. I'm gonna use some of this uh, square tube here. Make a little brace for the back so it doesn't, you know, just like bend in half and fall on the ground. Although that might still happen. All right, cut uh, four of these and weld these onto the plates. Usually I uh, stick weld everything, but the MIG machine got fixed. Shout out to Cy. Oh God, probably why I need to fix. Oh my God. These don't have to be exact. Just kind of like a suggestion of where they should maybe go. All that measuring just to eyeball it here, huh? Uh, make sure your metal's super rusty before you weld on it too. So you get maximum penetration. Everybody wants to see the welds. I tell you, you know who the most sensitive people on the internet are? Welders, I'm telling you, dude. They're always fighting. They're always saying this is better and that's better and whatever and getting, getting their feelings upset about stuff. No hate, just an observation. We'll see the welds. Eh, not the best, but you know what? It's gonna stick. I think it's gonna be totally fine. A little weave action, probably a little fast. I don't know. I don't know anything about welding, by the way. Kind of taught myself. Had a ex-girlfriend whose dad was a welder. He helped me out a little bit, but mostly it's just been um, trying to learn out of necessity. Any tips, let me know. All right, first test fit. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I don't think it's going to. We can't, the camper isn't high enough to get the, uh, the foot under it. All right, so this is what we got. Very simple, yet sort of complicated drop plate. Got a stabilizer down here. It goes up in the back and goes around this. It bolts on the front. Put pressure up here and in here. I mean, it appears to work just fine. All right, fantastic. Now we just gotta build three more. Well, now we're under the truck because the next thing I need to build is tie downs to hold the camper in the truck. And I'm too cheap to spend like $1,000. So I'm gonna build my own. Got some plates. I have a plate here, another plate here. Weld them here, stick out, and then drill a hole. And then I can run a turnbuckle from that to the camper. Hopefully I can get a bead on both sides. Oh my God, the helmet is not on. Oh God, I can't see. Almost forgot to turn it on again. This plate will stick out, I'll do some fancy stuff with this, whatever, paint it. Uh, put a hole in it, turnbuckle from here to the camper. But under here, ow! Oh man, I just crammed my head on the leaf spring hanger. Holy crap, that hurt. I heard an echo. In here, we got um, one bolt here, and then I'm gonna run, cut a, uh, put another hole in here, run a bolt through this cab mount here. That'll hold it like this, and I'll put a little tab on top of the frame. I am proud of myself for this one. Th this looks good. That thing is solid. Get up in there. That's real official looking stuff there, buddy. And I gotta build tie downs for the rear. So I'm thinking of just trying to keep it simple. Make something, sticks in the receiver, ring or something here, and I can just turn buckle, bind it to the receiver, and then just find some square tube that sticks into there that's smaller, sticks out, and then pressure up. Interestingly enough, to fix the camper and build all the things to hold the camper in the truck, I've not spent a dime on material because I've just sourced it all from the marina here. It's all stuff out of scrap piles. The legs of these ramps are gonna be it. Akeem, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, buddy, but I need your ramps. All right, got the piece of pipe sticking out. Welded a tab on there, put a little binder and that. I mean, that just holds a little pressure just to hold it into the receiver. The receiver piece, slide that one in there. 
and we'll weld a ring to it or something. It'll be my tie down. Boom, there we go. Look at that, tie down, shackled to the truck. That thing is not going anywhere, I promise. That is overkill. But again, it's boat out, built out of boat parts and slides out. So you really could leave that attached if you wanted. Slide this in and out. Maybe I'll put a pin to pin it, but that thing, if there's force up, it's not going anywhere. I need to build shocks, tie downs uh, to hold the camper to the truck. Got a bunch of these, cut these tabs off, use that for the top and use the rest on the bottom to weld to secure it. Right, so we got a piece of square tube, eye bolt, a spring cap on top, eye bolt through it, spring on here, a washer and a nut, and then tabs. So that when you pull up on this, it's got tension. Where'd I put it? I just had it. Just had it. Literally just, oh, it's right here. All right, so we got our thing made. You can pull on this and it has a little bit of give. It's in case you hit a big bump, you don't rip the tie downs out of the camper. This thing will absorb the shock so it's not hard mounted to the truck. You can buy these, but we just built these out of scrap metal. Got them all painted up. They're gonna look good. Also built this uh, little porch. It's definitely not made out of a pallet rack from Home Depot for the truck bed camper. And it's got a little step on it too. All right, we're finally going camping. We got all the trailer mounts back from powder coat. We got to put them on the truck. I even made them pins so that we can remove them and drive around with that if you like. Boom. We got the rears, we got the fronts. I built the big jacks to get the camper into the truck, but since it's underneath these gantries, we're just gonna lift it up with the gantries and put it in the truck. But when I get it out, I'm gonna have to use the jacks. Now we're down, I think. We're touching the truck cab. That's not good. We are? Yeah. Oh no. But we gotta lift the back there. Is it coming up on the... Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's coming up. All right, you're good. like that for when you're driving. So we are ready to go. We're gonna go down the ocean. Okay, I did not spend a dollar in material. And I did not go to the hardware store one time to build any of this stuff. It's all scrap metal and just pieces of other junk. All I'm saying is that Jed Clampett would be very proud of me.